Good morning, guys. What's going on? I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in so long. Um, I had a couple videos that were like pre-recorded, so I was just kind of posting those all before this. So I haven't vlogged in, I don't know, probably a solid week at least uh, between this motorcycle course and um, I, I had quite a few roofing jobs. I had two two days ago in a row and then uh, three yesterday that I did. So I, I was just exhausted. Um, Anyway guys, coming to you with some updates. My fridge, uh, my fridge freezer combo, which still works great. I have no issues with it or anything. Sam found a bigger one. It's called the Alpicool T60 Dual Climate Fridge, which is, or fridge freezer, which is awesome. It's, it's, a, it's quite a bit bigger, at least from what it looks like on uh, the YouTube videos that I've seen. And um, the nice thing about this is you can set each uh, the fridge and the freezer temp whereas on this fridge that I have you set the fridge hold on I gotta fix this here you set the freezer comb um, level and then the fridge kind of just works off that and doesn't get as cold it'll probably stay like five to ten degrees um, you know warmer than that so but right now we're using our fridge and freezer both as a fridge because I have more refrigerated stuff than um, frozen but now that I'm getting this one we can, we can actually get meat, like from Sam's Club, bulk meat, and freeze it so that it'll be good for, you know, way long, like lo way longer than I would, you know, need it to stay good for, but, so I'm super excited about that. Yeah. Yeah. Sam, you didn't close your door again good, did you? No, I didn't. But, right, we're off. Whenever we don't close Sam's door good, <laughs> um, it, it whistles. Oh my God, it's so irritating. Let me, let me get back to you guys once it's done. All right, guys. Now that Sam has fixed her door, guys, she she closed the door, and I guess when she she her she hurt her wrist, so when she goes to close the door, she used two hands, um, and she was holding on to the to this thing, to the door release, you know. So she goes to close it. She closes it. She makes the right hand turn. Her whole freaking door goes flying open. She almost fell out of the damn van. <sighs> Zooming in on my damn face. <laughs> uh, guys, um, so we're gonna be selling that fridge, the smaller fridge. Um, it's a really great fridge. If you guys are looking for a, a, a new fridge, freezer combo, um, they make all different sizes from super small ones to all the way up to the 63 quart, which is the one we're gonna get. And uh, I cannot wait to get it. So they, uh, you know, they just work and work and work. And I run mine 24 seven off the Jackery. So, and I haven't, knock on wood, I haven't had any issues, so uh, definitely recommended from us at least. And and they have good reviews on on Amazon or wherever you you know wherever you look for your reviews. So I have a job to do this morning, and I got another job tomorrow. So we're gonna just start moseying you know over there once I'm done with this one, and we'll see if we hit anything interesting along the way. All right, so a little update on the uh, motorcycle class and everything. So I passed. They gave me the card. Now. This Harley, Day I don't know if it's all Harley Davidson Riding Academies, but uh, this one told me they have something called the Harley Davidson Riding Academy Promise. And what that is, is they promise to send my um, my passing score and all this stuff to the DMV electronically within three business days. Now, the thing that stinks about that is that I finished the course on Friday, um, so like Friday afternoon, so they're not, they're probably not going to send it that day, and then Saturday, Sunday is non-business days, so they're not going to do it those days, so, um, they have up to, when, up to this coming Wednesday, today is Monday, they have up to Wednesday to send my information to the DMV, and then, um, you know, then I can go in and they can officially put it on my license, because right now, even though I have that card and everything, that's not like a learner's permit, it's not, um, you know, an endorsement or anything. If I got pulled over, it would be considered riding without an endorsement. I would get a ticket for it. So I got to wait till Wednesday to uh, get that on my license. The problem, not that it's a problem, it's just an inconvenience, is that, um, you know, we hang out, I, a lot of my jobs are in Brevard County or some other county. The issue is that since this whole COVID thing is still going on somehow, I don't know, we can't get a handle on it, but, uh, since it's still going on, a lot of the DMVs are only taking their residence um, appointments. Uh, right, you have to be a resident of, like, let's say Brevard County, which is where we allow my jobs. So I'm not a resident of Brevard County anymore. I used to be, 
um, but now I'm a resident of Okeechobee County so I have to go down to Okeechobee County um, which I have a job about an hour 45 minutes to an hour from there uh, at the end of this week so once I get down there I'll finish those jobs and then mosey on over um, I got I, I don't know if I have to make an appointment I couldn't even call the DMV because by the time I got out of this motorcycle course and everything the DMV was closed for the day and then now we're in the weekend so they're not open um, so I'm gonna give them a call today when I get a free second and uh, find out if I have to make an appointment or if they take walk-ins. The nice thing about Okeechobee is it's it's a pretty small town. So, um, you know, when we were there and I had my license swapped over and everything when we moved there, I didn't have to make an appointment or anything. It was just walk-ins. So hopefully it's still like that. If not, I'll just make the appointment. Not a big deal. And uh, we'll get that done. Once I do that, I got to call my insurance. I still don't have um, insurance on the bike, which to me is a huge problem. So um, now down here in Florida, um, motorcycle insurance is not required uh, for some reason although somebody I think somebody in a motorcycle course I think the instructor told me that if you are over 21 you don't have to wear a helmet um, but you do have to have ten thousand dollars in medical insurance available to you God forbid something happens uh, and if you're under 21 uh, then you have to uh, wear a helmet so I don't know it's a uh, it's, I mean, I'm going to wear a helmet either way. I, you know, I prefer to keep my brain intact. So, yeah. All right, let me get to this job, and then, like I said, we'll see what else uh, we can do today. All right, guys. I finished up on my job, and now Sam, um, we couldn't find, like a, like, a state park or anything like that, so Sam found a KOA that's not too expensive, and it's only about a half hour from uh, this other job that I have tomorrow. So we booked it, and uh, now we are on a hunt for a... You know, Publix or a Walmart or an Aldi, like anything. Every we just keep passing. I mean, you can't spit without hitting a damn Dollar General. I mean, we like Dollar General, but you know, we want to get like a good amount of food. It's like you have to see the stuff that Dollar General is coming out with. Really cute home decor. So if you're into that, definitely check out Dollar General. Yeah. So we're keeping an eye out for the food, and uh, this will be a nice recharge. So that way, I can plug everything in. I can plug the Jackery in, charge that up. Um, and then we, we need to do laundry. I got a, I got a ton of laundry that I need to get done. And it'll be nice if we can sit at a picnic table, make some food. Like I haven't, we haven't camped in a minute. We've just been bouncing around different jobs and my motorcycle costs. So we've been saying, um, you know, like, like Cracker Barrels, yeah, boondocking a lot. So uh, this will be a nice change of pace. Um, anyway, we're gonna keep our eye out for a supermarket of some kind. And then uh, I'll see you guys at the campground. What up guys? All right, so I wanted to give you guys an update. Stopped at Walmart. I got some groceries and stuff. I ended up running in. Usually Sam uh, runs in because, you know, she likes to pick out all her stuff or whatever. But um, I also ran in because I, I don't know if you guys are going to see it, but I busted the screen on my phone. I dropped it last night and uh, just gave me a good excuse, a good push to actually buy a new phone. Guys, I went with AT&T prepaid. I picked up a, what the hell is this called? Um, I picked up an LG, I picked up an LG Express, Expression 3, excuse me. Uh, it was 120 bucks from Walmart and it's $60 a month unlimited. Um, or you can go $50 a month unlimited uh, without the hotspot. I like the hotspot, it helps me upload videos to you guys. So the hotspot is an extra 10 bucks a month for 10 gigabytes. Uh, and between me and Sam, you know, I can use hers, or I can use mine, it's more than enough for us to get all the videos out to you guys. Um, but I wanted to update you. I got one bar of service here with Metro PCS, who, which is who I've had for the longest time. And I have five bars of service with AT&T. So far, I've had really good service, like, everywhere throughout this trip. We've been through some pretty wooded areas and stuff. Um, so I'm pretty happy with it so far. And, uh, yeah. If you get on the auto pay, it's uh, $60 a month for uh, unlimited everything plus the hotspot. If you don't do auto pay, uh, it's 75. So if you get on the auto pay, you save 15 bucks a month. And uh, also if you get the unlimited everything except for the hotspot, it's $50 a month with auto pay. Without it, it's 60. So just something to keep in mind, but this is a really nice phone. Um, the camera is much better than the camera I had on the other phone. It's pretty slick looking. Um, so pretty happy with it. And I will give you guys a service update you know, somewhere down the line in a couple of weeks or months. 
once I get a really good feel for it if we go throughout these campgrounds and stuff. But uh, we are 13 minutes out from this campground and then we're gonna get cooking. I am starving. We didn't eat anything today and it's already four o'clock. So let's get there and we'll make some food. All right guys, we're over here at our campground. We just pulled in. And Sam is starting to cook dinner. We're making chicken cutlets uh, with pasta, sauce. Cody, you like being here? You like being here? Do you like this campground? What do you think? It's out. Guess I did a good job tying it down. Maybe I'll take it for a buzz around the campground later, we'll see. We got water, full hookup, 120 uh, and 30 amp running into the van. There's a pool over there, there's the clubhouse and laundry, which is really nice, so it's not a far ride. Or a far walk, I should say. Did you tell him that I want to take him in his stroller later for a walk? Yeah. Yeah, later we are going to go for a full test ride uh, with Cody's stroller. Mm -hmm. So we'll take him for a walk all around and just try to get him acclimated to it, you know? All right, let me help Sam over here with uh, dinner and I'll get back with you guys. Thanks. Yes! Whole bunch of chicken and some pasta. Oh, it smells so good. I even made a, um, an egg cake, an egg and breadcrumb cake. Because we had a lot of egg and breadcrumb in there. I don't know if you guys ever made that. They're pretty good. Man, look, look at this. This is how Sam makes her. She didn't even melt the damn cheese. Because I put the cheese on too late. All right. <laughs> I bought these off of Amazon. Yeah, these are our strainers, guys. I think we told you guys about these. And then they... They're nice and small, and they come... Yeah, look at that. Turn it sideways. Look how thin. Oh, my God. That's perfect for van life. And then... It... Ooh. Yep, pop it out. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. We decided to take Cody for a little... Walk in his stroller. <laughs> you see him? <laughs> He's standing up now. In we're still, to uh, his face. we're still working on breaking him into it. You know, we want to get him used to it. But we're I taking him right down. That where we're going is good. Yeah. So that way, whenever he sees this, he'll be excited. Yeah, look at him. See, he's all right after a while. Yeah. No. <laughs> we're taking him to the dog park. They have a wishes. We're taking him to the dog park. Um, right, it's right over here. So. today the bigger one this is the alpi cool uh t60 and this thing is really nice really big it has um, wheels on the bottom so whenever i want to right. vacuum or mop i don't have to like pick up it pick it up or drag it yeah because this thing even this one that we have now is when it's full of food it's heavy um so the fact that this has wheels on one side is really nice um it has almost all the same features except this new one that we're getting is dual climate so you can set the fridge and freezer but and it has bluetooth and it has yeah, this one has Bluetooth too. You can you can do everything right oh, from the app. Bluetooth too? I believe so. Yeah. Oh. But uh, yeah, that'll be pretty new. You, you can neat. You can uh, control the whole thing right from your phone from an app. I think it is. I never really do it because you know you kind of set it and forget it. You don't really mess with the fridge too much. But uh, it should be pretty sweet, guys. I did a roof today. Ugh, I don't know. They're, they're funny. You know, they're very nice and funny, and uh, the roof was a mess. Um, I, I had to put somebody had um, put a patch at the front seam. Uh, it looks like a long time ago, and it was coming off, and it was just a mess. And it was all wood. All the wood underneath was gone. And it was just wet. And I'm peeling like I had to like cut away a whole bunch of stuff and a whole bunch of old wood and an old um, patch. And these freaking little palmetto bug. Um, well, they look like cockroaches. They're part of the roach family. Yeah. Oh god. And if you're in Florida. If you have wet wood, whether you're in an RV or you have your house, your barn, they are there. They love wet wood. Yeah, they love wet wood. They love um, cardboard, all that stuff. So, 
but I'm peeling this stuff back. They're coming out of it. It was just not a good situation. And this guy is about to live in it full time. It's very know. hard to get rid of. You would need an exterminator. We, when we had a class A, we fumigated it God knows how many times. Oh, I, I bug bombed that thing probably 10, 15 times and it still had bugs in it. I don't know. So we, we got rid of that thing. We flipped it. But um, yeah, so anyway, so I finally, finally got out of there and uh, we're heading to a campground. We booked another KOA for my next roof that I have tomorrow. Um, this is another cheap KOA. It looks pretty nice here though. They have a tiki bar on site. Yep. Yeah, a grill, right? A whole grill? Yeah. Yeah, so we'll see if it's open. I don't, you know, the whole COVID thing, you just never know what to expect anymore. I'd like to get like a Bahama Mama or something. Yeah, something to chill. I'm down. Um, so we're going to get over there and hang out for a little bit. I got to, we have a blinker bulb out. Our right blinker bulb is out. So in order to get to it, I got to take the bike off the hitch, unfortunately, um, because you have to open the door um, to get to these blinker bulbs. So it's all good. I'll take it off. I'll take a buzz around the campground and stuff. It's fine. It's just an excuse to use the bike. So take that off, get the bulb repaired, and we'll see what else we do today. All right, guys, we just got to our campground. Cody is pretty excited to be out. <laughs> we had to pick Cody up because the other dogs were there and... You know, guys know Cody doesn't get along with anybody. Jeez, Cody. Why? So we're at this uh, RV place. It's like a marina as well. Got a lot of boats. A lot of nice boats. Some that are falling apart. Oh, do not feed the alligators. Yeah, don't feed the alligators, okay, guys? Who the heck's gonna go swimming in there anyway? can't fish over here. Did you have a nice walk? Did you? you got something in your eye. Oh you. Yeah. Alright. Guys, we just got back from seeing a whole bunch of nice boats and everything, and now we're gonna make some dinner before it starts raining. I don't know. Looking a little iffy, so we're not sure. The neighbors are saying that there's a spot spotty shower that's supposed to come. So we're gonna pop out all of our stuff and make some dinner. Alright guys, so today we are trying something a little bit different. Instead of making, today's Taco Tuesday by the way. Um, instead of making tacos, we're going to try these soft tortilla bowls. Well, uh, we're making bowls. tacos, but not tacos. Yeah, we're going to do it in a bowl rather than a taco. We got our meat and everything over here. Check this out, what Samantha got me the other day on Amazon. This is a, a mini portable chopper. Instead of sitting there, you know, because again, I am not a chef, so... Um, it takes me a long time to like cut everything and I never get it like really small so this will help us get it really small a couple blades in there and it's a USB power charged yeah you do, yeah you recharge it up and then you just push the button when you want it to go on so it's pretty cool all right guys and just like that we chopped up some tomato looks pretty good looks way smaller than what I would have cut it up to all right guys so the onion I pre-cut up a little bit because it was pretty big it came off of a full size full size onion so I just pre-cut it up a little bit. We'll throw it in here. Don't mind my hands. It's just paint. I did wash my hands, I swear. I shouldn't have showed you guys this. I should have just told you I cut it that small. I don't know if you guys can tell, but these things are <laughs> kind of tiny. What do you think? really small yeah so we've got our meat over here we threw the onion in there that we could saute it and then i got my mexican blend style cheese we got my tomato cut up i'm gonna prep mine and i'll let you guys know how it is all right guys i don't know if you could see what's under it i got tomato onion cheese sour cream 
The meat. It's so weird. How do you eat these now? You just pick them up? Yeah. It's so weird. All right, Sam. So what do you think? Is it better with uh? Guys, look, I have no hair. Is it better with the taco bowl or is it better with a taco wrap? It tastes the same. Yep. I tell you what, though, I feel like the taco bowls like hold it better. Like mm -hmm. I don't, I don't lose as much. Like, yeah, when but you go to eat it, I feel like the wraps are better. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> All right, guys, back in the van, chilling. We got Cody. Scarfing down his food. <laughs> yeah, is that food good? We saved him a little bit of plain meat, just a little bit, and we mixed it with his dog food, so he's chowing down on that. Guys, I wanted to tell you about this. Um, if you could see this portable toilet, um, they tend, I don't know what the deal is, but the, the chemical reaction between, without getting too graphic, um, between like bodily fluids, right? Yeah. Um, number one and number two, and the plastic that this thing is made out of. It just, it makes it stink or something. There's some smell and it, it's just so bad. And uh, there's also like a lot of little areas where like air comes out, like especially if you sit on it. Like I use it as a seat um, when I edit videos. I sit over here and I have my laptop here. So, um, you know, so, so when you sit on it, it lets a little bit of air out, it kind of stinks. Guys, Samantha buys these, if you guys have ever seen these. Um, and we basically, we break Which it I up. I honestly don't know if it's good because you're not supposed to mix bleach in your black tank in an RV. Right. So we're mixing bleach. But, this, but I'm not in like a $20,000 RV. I'm sitting on a $40 toilet. So. 40. How much is this? 80. This is an $80 toilet? Yeah, I'm paying it. You spent $80 on a crapper? <laughs> anyway, um, we bought these in the past. We bought the all blue ones. And, and you guys already know what happened with that one. Right. If you pull the handle too quick, the flusher, um, it tends to get like air that comes up and it like, and it, and it kind of ex like does like a mini explosion. Make sure you have the lid closed when you flush. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want any surprises. Um, but <laughs> that it, happened once. But if you pull it. <laughs> But if you pull it slowly, um, it, it won't do that. But we really like these. These are these are a little different than the ones we normally buy. These are mixed with bleach and a blue like freshness cleaner, and you know it makes yeah. the water sit nice and blue, and and uh, it it takes away the smell and stuff like that. So these are definitely recommended. How much were these? A dollar. These are a dollar. So you get two tabs dollar. for a dollar. Um, Go pretty, down in a dollar section. Yeah, they're pretty big, and honestly, um, each tank. That we fill this up with it usually they usually last about two full fresh water tanks because you fill the top up with water and then uh you know you flush it into the bottom so you'll get about two tanks on one tablet so these are definitely recommended <laughs> oh nice clean hoodie hopefully i don't get lint everywhere it doesn't smell oh, it doesn't smell good yeah. let's see if all the lint comes on god we just did a whole load of laundry at the other koa I procrastinate when doing it. Um, if you guys come to this one, what is this one called? Davy KOA. Okay, so this is the Davy KOA, and it's really, it's nice up there um, where the spots are a little bit more expensive, 55, 65 bucks, um, and you're right on the water, and you can see all the beautiful houseboats and the other boats, and you're you're closer to the, what, the food, the, the lounge? Yeah, it's not. No, the I grill. Mean, they have a grill here. It wasn't open when I was over there. But the reason why I grabbed the spot that I would do is because it, that I did is because it says that you're far from the marina and the boat launch. So that's perfect for Cody because he barks at everybody. Right, but he's barking anyway. But I find out <coughs> it was like what Sean said. It feels like we're in a parking lot. If yeah. I knew it was going to feel like this, I would have just paid the extra five, ten dollars and got a nicer yeah. spot for us. And you're very close to your neighbors. Like there is no hiding. Oh, if anybody was to our right, their slide would hit us in the face while yeah. we're at the picnic yeah. table. Yeah. I'm not exaggerating. Yeah, so definitely if you guys come here, Cody, I recommend. Stop, Cody. Cody, come here. Cody, come here. So I recommend that if you guys stay here, just spend, like Sam said, spend an extra couple bucks. You'll get a much nicer spot. You can back right up to the water. And, I have no uh, idea yeah. what's in the area. Yeah, I don't know either. Probably not much. <laughs> You're 30 minutes away from Daytona. Yeah, which is cool too. So if you guys want to make a day out of that or whatever. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we're going to end this video here because I think it's getting kind of long. This is like a two day long vlog. Um, but I hope you guys are all doing great. Hopefully in the next vlog, I really want to get this drone up in the air and start messing around with that. So I've just been so busy with work and everything. So um, hopefully in the next couple of days it calms down a little bit and then I can get that drone up and we can do some well, fun the next, stuff together. At the end of the week, 
I told Tim we're taking a break. Yeah, so we'll be she, able to. She's my scheduler, so if anybody messages us, she looks in the in I'm our the calendar assistant. book. Yeah, and she takes and care I, of and that. And I take and I take the money. Yeah. The, the people already know to come to me. Yeah, yeah. Do I, I don't hand, even get the money. Do I hand it to the boss? Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you guys are all having a great night, and Sam and I will see you in the next one.